This is a lecture for Adler Graduate School, course number 504, Abnormal Psychology. The World Health Organization Disability Assessment Scale was developed to assess the activity limitations and participation restrictions experienced by an individual irrespective of their diagnosis. Development of this instrument is the result of collaborations between the World Health Organization, the National Institute of Mental Health, the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, and the National Institute on Drug Abuse. This is the framework suggested in DSM-5 to replace AXIS-5 from DSM-4, the Global Assessment of Functioning Scale. This talk will discuss the reasons for the assessment of functional abilities, describe the various versions of the instrument, and present the items from one version of this instrument. We will use the six domains of the HUDAS in the case study exercises for this course and for the special project interview and write-up. Knowing what disorder a person has requires the application of the fine art and science of diagnosis. This knowledge helps to guide treatment interventions and management strategies. It can also help to predict outcome and prognosis to a certain extent. However, although diagnosis is valuable on its own, it is not sufficient for understanding the full picture and the lived experience of a patient. The adage, there are no diseases, only patients, applies here. Keep in mind that a disorder is simply a cluster of symptoms that have occurred together during a specific length of time. Just as important as the diagnosis itself is whether a person can work and carry out the routine activities necessary to fulfill his or her roles at home, work, school, or in other social areas. This aspect differs greatly, independent of the disorder or disorders the person has. Assessing functional abilities and understanding where the disorder or disorders is impinging on a person's life is an important part of helping the person feel understood and creating a working alliance. The domains of the HUDAS provide a useful framework for this assessment. Measuring the impact of any health condition in terms of functioning allows us to compare level of disability due to different diseases. It makes it possible to design and monitor the impact of health and health-related interventions, thus making it easier to design interventions and to monitor their impact. There are a variety of very important factors that a diagnosis alone does not predict. Some of these factors are useful in planning or prioritizing treatment while other factors are important to have documented in the clinical record of some of our clients. Some of these factors are useful for health care policy decisions, reflecting the variety of functions that the clinical record may serve. People generally seek treatment because they are having difficulty doing what they used to be able to do. Exploring and defining these difficulties is a critical part of setting treatment goals that reflect the person's wishes and aspirations. It is also true that many diagnoses include impairment in social, occupational, educational, academic, behavioral, or other important areas of functioning as one of the diagnostic criteria. When an assessment of functional abilities is added to a diagnostic formulation, there is evidence that predictive ability is significantly improved for a variety of factors. One reason we want to assess functional ability is that impairments in functional abilities may last longer or be more stable over time than any single symptom or diagnosis. For example, a hallmark of some disorders, especially some of the anxiety disorders, is the avoidance of certain behaviors, situations, or cues. These avoidances often create limitations in adaptability and functional ability. In the absence of the undesirable cue, 
the person may do fine, but the avoidance efforts often create significant limitations. It is difficult to define and measure functional ability and disability because it is related to many life areas and involves interactions between the person and his or her environment. The WHODAS is based on a much larger assessment framework, the International Classification of Functioning, Disability, and Health. Domains from that larger framework were distilled down to the six domains of the WHODAS, which was developed to provide a standardized way to measure health and disability across cultures. These six domains were selected after a careful review of existing research and survey instruments and a cross-cultural applicability study. Several versions of the HUDAS are available. These include interviewer-administered versions, self-report versions, and proxy versions which allows someone other than the client to provide their evaluation of the client's functional abilities. The interview administered versions include follow-up questions about the number of days in the past month that the person has experienced the difficulty. The 12 plus 24 version uses 12 items to screen for problematic domains of functioning with up to 24 additional questions to further define the difficulty. This assessment strategy echoes the DSM-5 process of symptom assessment, which begins with the Level 1 symptom questionnaire and then uses Level 2 questionnaires when needed. For this course, we will be using the six-item clinician rating scale, and a copy of this scale is available on the course page. When you look at it, you will see that each of the six domains has several specific areas of functioning that are included in the rating of the domain. For the case study exercises, you will report your rating in each of the six domains, as well as a narrative about functioning in domains that you identified mild, moderate, severe, or extreme difficulty. Now I am going to present the items from the 36-item interview administered version of the HUDAS as a way of broadening your understanding of each of the domains. I have put an asterisk by the items that make up the 12-item screening instrument for each domain. A copy of the 36-item interview administered version is available on the course page. The interviewer is instructed to start the assessment of this domain by saying, quote, I am going to ask you some questions about understanding and communicating, end quote, and then precede each item with the stem, in the past 30 days, how much difficulty did you have in? For the mobility domain, the interviewer is instructed to start by saying, Quote, I am now going to ask you about difficulties in getting around, end quote, and each item is preceded by the standard stem as before. In the past 30 days, how much difficulty did you have in? This domain assessment begins with, quote, I am going to ask you about difficulties in taking care of yourself, end quote, and uses the standard stem. This domain is introduced by saying, quote, I am now going to ask you about difficulties in get al getting along with other people. Please remember that I am asking only about difficulties that are due to health problems. By this I mean diseases or illnesses, injuries, mental or emotional problems, and problems with alcohol and drugs. Domain 5 has two subdomains, household activities and work or school activities. Inquiry into the subdomain of household activities begins by saying, quote, I am now going to ask you about activities involved in maintaining your household and in caring for the people who you live with or are close to. 
These activities include cooking, cleaning, caring for others, and caring for your belongings. End quote. This second subdomain of the life activities domain is investigated if your client works, volunteers, or goes to school. Questioning about this domain begins with these instructions. Quote, now I am going to ask you about your participation in society and the impact of your health problems on you and your family. Some of these questions may involve problems that go beyond the past 30 days. However, in answering, please focus on the past 30 days. Again, I remind you to answer these questions while thinking about health problems, physical, mental or emotional, alcohol or drug related. This domain has a lot of items. I encourage you to think of these domains as areas that you need to assess as a part of your diagnostic assessment. For the case study exercises, you will be rating each domain from zero, no problem, to four, extreme problem or unable to do. For your special project interview, you will be inquiring into your clients functioning in these six domains, reporting a score from zero to four for each domain, and writing about functioning in domains where you identified mild, moderate, severe, or extreme difficulties.